Roblox is back, baby. Yeah. So, what's up, guys? How's it going? <laughs> so today we're gonna be talking about well the whole Roblox thing that happened. Like, I think it started on Friday, October 29th. Friday, yes, Friday. So what happened? Well, Roblox fucking died. He <laughs> just, just straight up died. All right, it was on Friday, all right, and out of nowhere, people started noticing that. Well, Roblox, Roblox was down, you know, and I have no idea what the fuck Roblox is at this point. It's like game platform, gaming itself, game engine. You know, it went down, and you know, of course, of course, you know, sometimes that happens. You know, sometimes services go down, games go down, pay web pages go down. Something happens. Sometimes you know that happens. That's normal. You know, an hour pass, three hours pass. Six hours passed, and Roblox was not coming back. You know, it was bad because you know Roblox doesn't usually have these kind of of outages, but you know, it happens sometimes, especially because at this time, you know, they are, a lot of people were like, okay, sure, it could happen, especially because at this time, the whole you know Chipotle th thing with Roblox what hap was happening, in which basically you can buy, like, you will buy something in the Chipotle store in Roblox in the game, and well, you could get like a free. Chipotle meal or something like a burrito or something free burrito from from Chipotle. So you know it was a, it was expected and you know maybe too many people joined in. You know maybe the servers you know just couldn't handle it. That's all right. However, a day passed, nothing. Two days passed. All right. Maybe we we'll, we'll be back soon. Three days. <laughs> and then you know it came <laughs> it came back basically yesterday or well, late afternoon. Roblox was down for three whole days. That's so fucking long, especially considering Roblox is one of the most played like games out there. It's really fucking popular, and you know, for one of the most popular games, especially for kids, to just be out for three whole days, especially during a weekend. <laughs> I feel bad for the parents, that, you know, who just who just leave their children just to play Roblox. No, there was a lot of just going around, you know, to why, what was happening with Roblox, you know, three whole days, that's a lot. And especially with the whole Chipotle thing, people were just, people were just blaming Chipotle and the whole partnership with them and how, you know, the service just couldn't keep up, blah, blah, blah. And, well, well, part of that is true, actually, well, I'm gonna explain, you, explain to you what happened. So this is something that, well, some, I think the CEO was the one that talked about it. They didn't release it, like, publicly on, like, Twitter or anything. Apparently, apparently that it was just from an interview. So what happened is, you know, the whole Chipotle thing was, was, was going to happen. And, of course, they expected, you know, that a lot of people were just going to, you know, go on Roblox and, you know, do that. Because you could get, well... Well, because you could get a free Chipotle burrito, basically. So, you know, a lot of people, a lot of, they expected that a lot of people would go there. And yes, a lot of people went there, a shit ton of people, alright? I think, like, alright, I think the Chipotle game thing was basically, like, full. Like, they didn't have any more servers to allocate to that game. So, you basically had to just be lucky to be able to get in. Okay, you know, yeah, they expected it, alright? However, you know, it wasn't the fact that a lot of people joined in. That ended up crashing Roblox and well, you know, just causing an outage for three whole days. It was the fact that they prepared for it, <laughs> and it's interesting because apparently what they did is because they expected a lot of people. What they did is, you know, as expected, basically they they located a lot more service to all to that data center so that you know all of that new people will be able to get in. However, apparently the fact that they did that may basically cause like an overload. And made it so that it just destroyed everything <laughs> because I feel like it just overloaded that data center. They had a shit ton more of servers, and a shit ton of people got into the servers, and that just overloaded everything, overloaded the whole system, and just made <laughs> made Roblox just stop working for like three whole days. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's basically kind of it. That's what, that's basically what happened. That's what you know the the CEO explained what happened. They didn't really say anything officially. Like I said, it was like in an interview. So yeah, I mean that's basically what happened. It was you know interesting because like, a lot of people were talking about it. And well, you know, I mean it's Roblox. Now it's maybe you don't play. Maybe maybe most people don't play, but almost everyone knows about it. And you know, it's it's a, it's a nice game. You know, I, I like it. It has some nice games in it sometimes. But yeah. um I mean, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and well, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, yeah, Roblox is back finally. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go! <laughs> Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>